Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our cPanel tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to password protect a directory within the cPanel. Protecting the entire site is sometimes done if someone wants to hide the site from the public until they're finished building it. Protecting specific subfolders is sometimes done for development purposes and other times just to allow specific people to have access to that part of the site. Note this is not meant to replace a membership style site, which is much more complex. It's just for access to a specific area. So think of it like a locked closet in your office where you want to keep things you don't want everyone to have access to. But let's get started. First, log into the cPanel dashboard as I've already done here. Next, look for the correct category. Getting to the tool is a little bit different depending on which theme you're using. Now if you're using the older X3 theme as I've shown right here, then you want to find the security category and then click on the password protect directories icon. If you're using the new paper lantern theme, then locate the files category, which is the top one by default, and click on the directory privacy icon. In either case, a pop-up will appear asking you which folder level to enter the tool from. For the X3 theme, select the web root, click go, and then click up one level to go to the home directory so you see all the directories. The paper lantern theme already has the home directory in the list. So go ahead and click that option and click go. You're taken to the protection tool where you can select any folder you want to password protect. If you want to protect your entire site, you want to password protect the entire public HTML folder. Simply click on the folder name to go to the next screen. If you want to have a specific subfolder protected, then enter the public HTML folder and find the specific folder you want to protect by clicking on the folder image itself. In this case, I have one called test. And from there to protect test, I would just click on its name. What we're going to do here, though, is protect the entire public HTML folder, which is the entire site. OK, you're now on the password screen. First, select the checkbox that says password protect this directory. You can use this to toggle the password protection on and off after you finish setting up. But for it to be on, it has to be checked. Next, you have to give the directory a name. This will show up in the pop-up when someone tries to access the area. You can make it say anything like members only or private area or whatever you like. We'll make it say secure site area. After you enter that, click save. Now you need to create at least one user to be able to access the area. If it's a work group, perhaps you want to have a single username and password for everybody. This way you can change a single password to lock everybody out for security reasons. Or if someone leaves the group, you change it and everybody's changed. This is pretty normal for project work. If you have a handful of people that you want to give access, like a small privileged area, then you can assign a user to each person. Uh, you have to do this each time for each person, however. For us, we're just going to make a single user here. Now once you've created the user and a strong password, Click on the Add or Modify the Authorized User button in the X3 theme, or in the Paper Lantern theme, it just says Save. Now underneath, you'll see a list of authorized users, and you'll see the new users you've created. Now, when you attempt to access the site or that specific area, you'll be met with a pop-up to enter the username and password. If the visitor fails, they're going to get a 401 unauthorized error page. If it works, then you'll see whatever they're supposed to see. And now you know how to create password protected directories in the cPanel. Thanks for joining us for our cPanel tutorial series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below so we can bring you future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. 
Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.